Kibble is Scotland's specialist provider of services for at-risk children and young people. Our care, education and specialist interventions help disadvantaged young people build themselves a brighter future. Kibble opened the Safe Centre in 2007, providing a nurturing and secure environment for young people aged 12 to 18 at risk of harming themselves or others. Young people at a point of crisis are referred to the Safe Centre by decision of a children's panel or a court order and stay in one of our three units, which each house a maximum of six young people. All the young people have got their own bedroom the ensuite facilities and what happens is our kids here work towards an incentive scheme or work within an incentive scheme so rather than losing things or being sanctioned for poor behaviour if you like what they actually do is they um, get rewarded for positive appropriate behaviour and in time they can work up the incentive scheme. When I first came here I started at level two um, which Basically it was just like a basic room and then very quickly I moved up to level 3 which led me to get posters and a TV with just good behaviour. Then I moved up to level 5 later on and then I, I get electrical, more electrical items which is TV and stereo, I get a later bedtime, I get more pocket money, I get longer time on the telephone which is good for me and my mum. And, and I can get a pet now which I'm hoping to get a hamster very soon. The units consist of obviously a bedroom each, it's an ensuite bedroom, a kitchen and a living area. They would have a pool table, um, obviously a television, it's kind of tried to make, as, it's tried to be as homely as possible. They've also got their own wee garden each as well, which in summer is brilliant, just that they can actually, do you know what I mean, open the door, get out. Some of the units would have like table and benches and whatever. A lot of kids will, will use the swimming pool, they'll do different stuff to keep themselves physically fit in that as well when you're into the back pitch and do football and various sports. They've got classes in school, they've got drama groups, they've got dance classes, so there's loads of things that it's ongoing. For me that's just amazing to see because the kids generally are just being kids and they're playing in the pool and do you know, just splashing and you just get them, yeah, get to see them having fun. Quite a lot of our girls are interested in getting you know, learning new ways of doing their hair, hair straightening, get their nails done. So quite often I get my nails done by the girls, which is wonderful, saves me a fortune. I think in terms of relationships, when kids come in here at first, um, it can be quite different. Them. Some of them have been insecure before and some, some haven't. So when they come in, it is really just about getting to know them. So you're assigned to be a, a key worker uh, to, to look after that young person. So part of that is to get to know them, find out about them, find out their circumstances. Um, what they want to get out of being here at Kibble. Part of the process is they'll see the nurse on, on admission to make sure that if they're on any medication and stuff like that, that that's maintained and make sure that their, that their health needs are getting met. Our job is to try and connect with that kid uh, and you might not do that in the first day, it might be several weeks, it might be several months, but the biggest part of your job is to try and make that connection and once you've made that connection for that young person it's like being able to trust adults again in their life is be, is be able to trust other young people again in, the, in their life. The staff here are, are nice and they make you feel very comfortable and make sure that I have everything that I need. I feel like since coming here I can, I've learnt to trust myself and I've, I can trust the staff and other people. I think if you're building relationships with the young people on a day-to-day -day basis then I think that's obviously going to be beneficial to the young person. Some of the young people we get in to Kibble have been totally disillusioned with uh, education and there's gaps in their education provision. We offer standalone units and our aim and ambition is for the young person to leave Kibble Safe Centre with as many qualifications as they can. Subjects vary from English and maths, art, PE, social subjects, uh, IT, and we also have woodwork within the curriculum. It's about raising attainment and getting the young people through national qualifications. I really like art. Art's my favourite. Especially the teacher, I like the teacher. Um, drawing and stuff's good. I think she's like the best art teacher ever. I like school. I like the music class. Um, I like playing the guitar. I've never played the guitar before. But when we were in class, I picked it up quite easily. A lot easier than anybody else. So, and sometimes I play it in my room as well. When I leave here, I, I want to 
go to college and do art or go to kibble works and do art and maybe get a job, which I didn't think I could. I thought it was just other people that would get a job or go to college and now I can do it. Within Kibble we've got this full continuum of care whereby they could in effect leave the safe centre, move into one of our close support or intensive support units um, and in turn they could actually in time move into a mainstream unit and then possibly out to the community house. Young people are referred to Kibble at a point of crisis in their life and it's our aims to provide them with a sense of hope and aspirations. We're unique in the fact that we have social enterprises attached to the safe centre which provides your kids with the opportunity to go and work in a real life environment, giving them skills and experiences which will help them achieve on leaving the safe centre. The social enterprises include car mechanics, gardening, picture framing, administration, recycling, groundworks and the experience our new eco go-karting culinary confrontainment centre. I've had a few young people um, stay within the Kibble Safe Centre and they seem to offer the kids a whole range of things. Um, their education, full-time education, um, lots of leisure activities, a lot of staff support. They, they tend to try and do a bit of one-to-one -one work with the children and try to help them to realise what led to them being here. And it's not, it's not meant as a punishment, it is meant to help the young people move on. I do programmes um, which helps me talk about what's going on in my head. and. It also gives me tools on how I can get my life back on track outside. What it really means is looking for the causes of offending behaviour or concerning behaviour really, like aggression, self-harm, drug use. Um, and what, what my service I think is, is got at its core is an acknowledgement that young people don't do these things because they're bad or because you know they're, they're delinquent. We, we've got much more of a view that it's because of previous experiences, you know, trauma is a really big thing, um, that their behaviour can be ex explained through that. And if we try and focus on those causes, then hopefully the behaviour will change as well. So we'll sit down with young people, with their families, with the social workers, and say, you know, what is it exactly that we hope to achieve here? Because I know if someone says to me, we just want everything perfect, um, then that's, you know, that's probably unlikely. But if they say, you know, we'd really like you know, John or whatever, to be able to really manage his emotions more so that he doesn't then run away or hurt himself. And that's more tangible and that's more achievable. Discussions with young people since I worked here when I've been reflecting with them within their time in Kibble are able to, with hindsight, say that it was a very positive experience and it did help them to identify and address any problematic behaviours that were placing themselves or others at risk. It's when young people go from feeling pretty hopeless about the future, you know, I speak to a lot of young people who just think the future is going to get worse, which imagine what an awful thing that would be, to actually having plans and, and working towards these goals that they've got and they can see how step one will lead to step two and you know the final step is a great life, you know, that's what they're eventually leading towards. So it's young people are looking forward and are doing things to get there. That's what I think is, is really nice to see. For further information regarding the services we provide or to make a referral, please call 0141 889 0044 or visit our website kibble.org.